one thing Sonny should have taught you before he lost his mind is to be a man of your word. Get specific. You assured me my shipments would run through these ports with no interference. Next thing I know, your men have hijacked my cargo. The agreement was you'd move your shipments through your peers. You violated the agreement. You lost the shipment. An example must be made, Jason. So either you come up with a good reason why I should let you live, or these gentlemen will kill you where you stand. Your shipments in the old packaging plant on Smith Street. Maybe you'll get to it before the cops do, maybe you won't. So this was another warning? Stick to your side of the street. You steal from me again, even temporarily, and I will make an example of you. What, what was that about? you that I would. Like I said, you stick to neutral ground, we're not going to have any problems, but this time your shipment cut across our waters, and you're waving to the Coast Guard like you want to get caught. I have friends in high places. I'm, I'm not impressed with your friends. Look, the price for interfering with my operations is blood. Yours, your men's, Sonny's, I don't give a damn who's in charge. You got lucky in South America. Sonny may not be so fortunate in Puerto Rico. That's right. I enjoy following every stumbling step he takes as he tries to scratch his way back to the top. It's really sad how far he's fallen. We got problems. I know, I know. I just saw him on the docks. Alcazar's flexing his muscles, saying we can't touch him. Yeah, what do you want to do? Put guards on Sonny's kids and Sam, mm -hmm. okay? And we're going to let Alcazar land his next shipment just to see what happens. Yeah. Jason. I'm sorry to bother you. No, it's okay. Could you meet me? I really need to talk to you about something. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking care of some business with Bernie and... Okay, well, uh, afterwards, as, as soon as possible, I would really appreciate it. Is something wrong? <sighs> Elizabeth. Are you, are you all right? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm sorry to bother you when you're so busy. You know what, this can wait. This can wait. I, I'll just talk to you later, okay? Bye. See, I think Alcazar is testing you. He wants to see how far he can push you. Um, what did you say? Alcazar. He doesn't want a war. Anymore. Yeah, no, no. Alcazar, he's got government connections. He's got someone local on the payroll. Inside protection makes him act bulletproof. The mayor? More like the DA, Bernie. Uh, look, all due respect, I, 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 we live in very delicate times. I think we got to pick our battles carefully. Okay, what, what are you saying? I'm saying that you hate Rick. Yes, I do. Yes, and I think it is beginning to interfere with your judgment because there is no evidence <sighs> whatsoever that Rick is working with Alcazar, and until there is, I think it would be a big mistake to eliminate him. The idea, just do me a favor, um, keep an eye on Alcazar. I don't like surprises, I don't want any surprises. Yeah, but he needs to be stopped as soon as possible. That's up to Sonny. You think that he, he can make that kind of decision? I wouldn't ask if I didn't think so. Hey, I, I got your call. Keep in touch with me? Okay. Is everything okay with Grandfather? Yeah, he, he's a little hungover, but it's nothing to worry about. Okay. Does, does he do that a lot? Does he go out and get drunk like that? There's some problem at ELQ. He's worried about a class action lawsuit. Does he talk about Alcazar a lot? That's what I really need to know. Sometimes. Uh, he's worried, you know, about Skye having to go into hiding to have her baby. He, uh... 
Billy wants another great-grandchild. Okay, I just... Right now, Alcazar is very dangerous, so if Grandfather's talking about provoking him, I want you to let me know right away, okay? Jason, are you okay? Yeah, why, why do you ask? You just seem preoccupied. H have you talked to Elizabeth? I... Uh, yeah, I, I spoke to her at the hospital. Oh, she just, she called me not long ago and she seemed upset. I, I was just hoping uh, you knew why. Elizabeth is dealing with a lot. She told me how Lucky found out that she's pregnant, that he tried to frame you and nearly shot Elizabeth. Yeah, and I took her to the hospital. Doctor said that she and the baby are both okay. He's one of my oldest friends, Jace. I, I love him a lot. He's this great guy who lost his way, but he's getting help. I really believe that he's going to do whatever it takes because he sees himself as the father of this baby now. Look, he's got to get better for himself, not for Elizabeth, not for the baby, not <laughs> no, for... but not everyone's you. like you. Jace, we don't all see the present and the future okay, so practically. Don't, don't misunderstand me. I do. I feel bad for him. I mean, this guy, he had a great life. He threw it away. I hope he can get it back. Speaking of getting lives and people back, do you see Sam much? She's got a lot on her mind. You know, she's dealing with Alexis's cancer. That doesn't mean that you don't miss each other. Did you ever think that breaking up with Sam was a mistake? People do things they regret, and they get upset and angry and do more things, and it's really hard to forget. Well, that, that's a lot of what Elizabeth's going to have to go through if she wants to save her marriage. You know, trying to get past Lucky's flaws, forgive his weaknesses, get over the anger. Maybe you could do that with Sam. Hey. I said it could wait, but Em, I, I didn't know she was here. What you... Yeah, I just uh, came to give Jason an update on our grandfather. So, um, and I have to get to work. So I'll see you later. Bye. Um, there's something Emily wasn't saying. Uh, Jason, I, I know we talked about not telling anyone about the night we had together. You told her. I mean, she didn't say anything. She was really hurt that I didn't tell her about the pregnancy, and I tried to explain to her is because I was afraid that she might tell, and... Tell, tell who? Well, tell Lucky, because, you know, I wasn't ready for him to know yet. And then I told her that she, that, well, Lucky tried to frame you, and that you've always been really kind to me. I, I, it, just, it just came out that the night of the blackout, you know, we were together. It's okay. But she doesn't know anything about Rick and Sam, and I, I won't tell her, I swear. Because I really want you and Sam to work things out. And I just hope the night we spend together, as amazing as it was, never gets in the way of your happiness. What if I'm the father of your baby? <laughs>